Yo guys, what's up? It's me again. Uh, so I've been asked this week a couple of times on Reddit and social medias to be making a video about how to be playing Auto Chess Mobile from the PC. So let's just uh, jump right into it, guys. I will show you everything you need to know. I will show you uh, what you need to download uh, and what you need to do. We will be running this on an emulator right away, guys. There's no other way to be playing Auto Chess Mobile on your computer. For the emulator, I recommend Nox, the other ones that I sh that are out there like BlueStacks and all the other bullshit, they uh, they don't work as good as, as Nox. But as I can show you guys, very good optimization tools on Nox to make your uh, game run a lot smoother and a lot better. So let's just dig into it, alright? Um, so let me show you first guys how to download Nox. Uh, you pretty much go to Google and i can uh, it's either you go to google and you type nox player and it's pretty much the third things that comes out it's nox player download emulator all this shit or i will just link it in the description uh, in the description for you guys for you to download um so you pretty much go here you download everything you need to download and then you open the download let me close that real quick you go into you should just show you this to you guys you go you press uh, you get the nox setup you run this all you need to do is download the game install it pretty much you pick perk snacks here it's gonna try to get you some uh, um, antiviruses for free if you want that take it i recommend don't take it just press decline uh finish and then it's gonna do it again or sneaky guys uh download this is how they get money pretty much uh, because everything is for free uh, if I didn't mention it yet okay so it's gonna ask me to install I already have the installation and everything done so I will not be installing this uh, once you guys have done everything and you have finished with your stuff you're gonna have two icons on your computer one of them is multi drive and the other one is gonna be uh, I, I, I forgot the name to be honest I just renamed mine into auto chess but it's probably gonna be like anything okay uh, so once you download it, the default uh, emulator is going to be an Android 5. If you guys want to make your uh, emulator into Android 7 like I did, all you need to do is go into multi-drive, press add emulator and go into add uh, uh, emulator 7.1.2. And then it's going to make you a new uh, thing. Uh, this one should be named uh, Nox Player 1, okay? I don't need this, so I just delete it because I already have everything running here. Okay, so when it's done and you have Android 7, if you want it, okay, of course, it's not necessary, but I recommend it better because it usually runs better and have uh, higher FPS. Uh, you press play and then Nox is going to come out real quick. Doesn't take too long usually. It's just a little bit slow at the beginning because this is as if you're running an actual phone, okay? Android is starting. Doesn't take too long. okay so once it's done you're gonna be in this is like an actual phone like everything else so you have play store here this is where you're gonna be downloading your auto chess game so you pretty much go into play store this is gonna be asking you to sign into your one of your google accounts so all you need to do is uh, sign into them once you're signed into you will be directed to this page which is google play search you go up you search auto chess pretty much space no space it doesn't matter uh, you see our chest right here and then you go into it you press install here and then once when you are installed you can either press open here from the shop or you press this button here this which takes you back to the lobby and you press on auto chess that's all you need to do and then you get the game pretty much once you log into auto chess they're gonna ask you to uh, log in with some info, your uh, Google info or whatever else. I'm pretty sure you guys have already played it on the phone and if you don't, then here's your first time looking at it. That's the game. You're gonna have to choose a server here, best change. I'm playing on Europe, so I have it set to Europe. Uh, you press login with Google. This is what I use. You can also make a Dragon Nest. Uh, let me just move this here so you can see everything. A Dragon Nest um, account or a Facebook account. I would recommend Google or Dragon Nest. Personally, I go with Google. So I log in with Google. It automatically picks up my emailer as Google and lets me log in. If it doesn't, just enter your stuff again and it's going to get you in. 
And as you can see, I have uh, left the game in the middle because uh, I had some other stuff to do. So I got this. Yep, I got eight. Where did I even start the game? Actually, I think it was my last. Uh, yeah, whatever. Hooper squid. And here we go. We are in the normal auto chess game inside. Okay, guys, before you leave, I know this is already working properly, but before you guys leave, I don't want you guys to lag when you're playing this game. So please follow a couple more steps that I'm gonna show you right now, okay? You go up here. If you, by the way, guys, if you want to make it full screen, you can either pop this to make it a little bigger, or you can press this button over here. You're gonna make it completely full screen. You can press Escape to escape it. And then what? You, what I want to show you guys is how you can optimize your uh, Nox player to make it a, run a lot smoother and a lot better, okay? In general settings, uh, if you guys want to, you can press on root, which is going to root your system pretty much. It's pretty much straightforward. Uh, this helps run the client a little better, but I personally don't do that because uh, some uh, games count this as cheating, so I don't use that. Advanced settings, okay? This is where the shit comes from, okay? You go into advanced, you press on costume, and then here you can set up as many cores as you guys have on your computer and as much RAM as you want to dedicate into the game. I uh, put 10 RAM into the game, but I'm pretty sure the maximum is 4, so don't, have, don't overdo it. Don't expect to need too much. The game is pretty easy to play. You don't need like a god computer for it. 4 RAM should be, en uh, four RAM should be enough for it, 4 GB RAM. So uh, you just calculate uh, 1024x4 and just enter that, okay? CPU cores. How, how do you know how much CPU cores you have? You pretty much go into your bar, click on it, open the task manager, okay? In the performance tab, you see your CPU. Over here, it says cores, okay? It says eight cores, all right? Uh, this is the amount of cores that you want to add into the thingy. The more, the better. Uh, but there is an important step that you guys need to know, okay? To be able to make your game more than one core, you need to enter, uh, to, you need to enable a virtualization on your computer, which is not hard. If you need to know how to do that, you go into here. It says, please enable VT to use more. You press help. Opens this same page over here. So what it does is pretty much uh, they give you a link here to a, a program that shows you if you can actually have virtualization on or off. And they explain to you what you need to do. You pretty much just need to go into your BIOS. Once you're in your BIOS, you need to change uh, virtualization on instead of off. And once you're done, you've done that, you just enter uh, save changes on your BIOS. You go back into the thingy and you go into your task manager. You check here on virtualization. If it says enabled, it means it's working and everything is fine. And you guys can make your CPU more than one core. I would recommend the maximum core that you guys have. Um, don't be intimidated by this step, guys. I think I know it looks a little bit intimidating and I have to, took me a while. Yeah, I did it myself. It was pretty scary, but everything is completely safe and completely fine with your computer this will not change anything that is bad for you guys just follow the steps in the link that i will show you guys in the description or or simply go from the knocks okay by the way all of this guys is completely up to you you don't have to do this but this is what i recommend to do to make the the launcher work a, a lot smoother as you can see i can get a lot higher than 60 fps in here works completely fine um yeah so you pretty much follow all the shit they show you here uh, it's not that hard as it looks it's really not as hard as it looks uh you pretty much just need to go to your bios and change everything if you guys run into any trouble while you're doing that feel free to just go into my youtube on this video and pray and like comment down below say whatever you trouble you guys ran into okay this shouldn't be hard okay one more thing you guys should know you want to up the resolution you go into resolution settings press tablet and then the maximum resolution you can set into is 1920 by 1080 this is the uh, this is on the maximum you can also go to costume and do some some shit but i would recommend just going by this one it's the best you guys will go with okay uh other than that that's it i mean you guys are free to play this game this is completely free 
as I said, Nox is completely free. The game is completely free. Uh, one thing I should mention, guys, uh, so you don't blame me later. Um, some games, some uh, uh, some uh, phone games, sometimes are against emulator using, so they sometimes can ban the players. But I have been using emulator for Auto Chess for a long time now, since pretty much since it came out. And I know other streamers and uh, content creators have been doing that too, and they have uh, no issues whatsoever. I didn't see anyone get banned for using an emulator yet, and I don't see a reason why a game like Autotrust would do that. But I'm just gonna throw that out there. Some games in the past have done some nasty shit to emulator users, but this is completely fine. Uh, hope this helps you guys i really hope this helps you guys because i personally cannot play this game on phone okay this is the, phone, the screen is just too small and i just like to play on my computer you know i like to do some other stuff go into my browser and all this shit i hope this helped you guys if it did please drop a like and uh subscribe to my channel okay i upload uh videos of this game um i'm trying to make this as richly as i can so i'm just gonna keep uploading so if you guys subscribe to me look at my videos i will really appreciate that and uh, thank you guys for watching and good luck with everything if you have any issues feel free to go in the comment below and i will help you every single one of you guys as much as i can all right guys have a great day and thanks for watching